In this video, we'll be discussing about rod cell signaling, which will be applicable for cone cells also, with the difference only in GPCR proteins. In rod cell signaling, we include the visual phototransduction in photoreceptor cells of our eyes, which is mediated by GPCR protein called rhodopsin. Before getting into the signaling pathway, first of all, we will see what causes excitation or activation and deactivation of rod cells. Here we see the photoreceptor cell signals or it causes electric signal only when there is hyperpolarization. That means when the cell is not producing any transmitter. At that time, there will be phototransduction. Whereas the depolarization of photoreceptor cells stops the phototransduction pathway. To get into the structure of rod cell, it has got disc-like structure onto which opsin proteins are embedded. And in that case, we have rhodopsin in rod cells. The rhodopsin is made up of opsin and retinal chromophore. Then after that we have transducin protein having trimeric structure as shown in the figure in the form of alpha, beta and gamma subunits. This being a rod cell at rest that's in dark then at that time there will be GDP bound to alpha subunit of transducin. And there is another protein present in rod cells called phosphodiesterase which hydrolyzes the cyclic GMP to 5-GMP. And we see there are also elevated levels of cyclic GMP in the cell when the cell is at the resting phase. And due to the elevated levels of cyclic GMP molecules, the cyclic GMP sodium channels are opened as shown in the figure. And this all happens in absence of light that's in dark. But when the light strikes the rhodopsin molecule, here the photon interacts with the retinal chromophore in photoreceptor cell. The retinal molecule undergoes isomerization, changing from 11 cis retinal to all trans retinal configuration, while the intermediate, that's the meta rhodopsin formation. This process leads to bleaching also. The opsin further activates the regulatory protein transducin, as shown in the figure, which causes the transducin to displace its bound GDP with GTP. After that, the alpha subunit of transducin dissociates from the beta and gamma subunits, with the GTP still bound to the alpha subunit. And this GTP bound alpha subunit activates the phosphodiesterase by binding to it. As this is all shown in the diagram. Furthermore, the phosphodiesterase breaks down CGMP to 5GMP. This lowers the concentration of CGMP and therefore the sodium channels close. The closure of sodium channels decreases the level of sodium in the cell, which causes hyperpolarization, which leads to decreased release of neurotransmitter at synaptic terminal. A decrease in the amount of glutamate neurotransmitter released by the photoreceptors causes depolarization of bipolar cells, which leads to release of neurotransmitter at bipolar ganglion synapse. And due to all these events, there will be synapse excitation, which will convert the light signal into electrical signal, which causes the vision through photoreceptor cells. So this is how the phototransduction pathway works in photoreceptor cells, particularly in rod cells. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.